another installment of my very favorites of 2020 and this time we're talking about my very favorite thing in the whole wide world which is eyeshadow palettes let's get into that right now hello my friends we are talking all about the top 10 palettes of 2020 and i couldn't be more excited because I have found some fantastic palettes this year. I kind of was a little bit more picky about palettes and I really kind of narrowed it down because I realized that my collection is so big. I just wanted to make sure that I was really picky this year and I felt like I did a really good job. Now, every one of these palettes is new to 2020 except for there's two. And I put those in here because I feel like because I've use them so very much that they needed to be in this lineup. I also want to say to you that before this video goes up, I will have another video that is about my health and different things that are going on. And so if you are interested in that, I'll make sure that I link that down below for you. And I'll try to remember to throw it up here in a card. YouTubers say they're going to throw out things up in a card, which is that little clickable tab that comes across in white. Sometimes we remember, sometimes we're really bad about it more than likely we're really bad about it. So anyway, I hope that you do enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up and let's get into the palettes right now. All right, so I'm going to start out with from Gimme Glow Cosmetics. This is their new Vivid Rose palette. It's been with me about a week. I'm in absolute love with it and you're gonna see why. First of all, the packaging is fantastic. I am trying really hard to get you guys closer even though my ring light doesn't like that very much, but I'm going to do my best to make sure that I give you really good swatches of these and show you the palettes really close up so that you can see. This is a purple mauve pink lover's dream. I am in love with this. I just think it's a fantastic palette. It has the most interesting colors in it. Now, before we get started, it is a bigger one. It has bigger pans there. And then we do have a full mirror, the length of this whole thing. So it's got a good mirror in it as well. So here are the colors. And let me tell you that when I first got this palette, immediately I thought of Juvia's Place. The pans are big like that. They are super, super saturated. But there are some beautiful, really interesting colors in here. This metallic violet right there, right there is so beautiful. Now, this is what I'm wearing today. I do have the darkened purple on the in the crease, outer V. I do have a little bit of this purple mixed in with it. I have, this is my transition color. And then what did I put on my eyelids? This is on my eyelids. Eyelids, along with a little bit of white. I felt like it was just a little bit too pink for my eyes, but wow, aren't those gorgeous? They are just some of the most pretty colors. Very saturated, extremely blendable, very, very blendable, and you just need to like tap your brush in there. This is an indie brand. When I was looking at them and watching their Instagram, it was talking about how they press all of these by hand, one pan at a time and they put out a ton of these during Black Friday. Kudos to these gals for what they pulled off, and they're from Texas, so I'm sure they're thinking big. So I really do love this one, and it had to be in this roundup no matter what. And by the way, we're not going in a specific order. We're just kind of going through whatever is pulled up next. These are all that good. If you find one that you really like, jump on the bandwagon. All right, next up is this adorable little palette from Violet Voss, and this is the Sweet Violet. And when I saw this, I was like, I have to have that, of course, because it's purple. But the other thing is that these are really nice quality. They're really good. And I had never had a Violet Voss palette before, never tried any of her palettes at all. So I didn't know what her formula was like, but it is a very, very nice formula. And the pans are small, but I don't mind that because when you're looking at a palette that is all one color or, you know, leans towards a color hue, then you really don't necessarily want one that's going to be huge that you're never going to be able to go through. Kind of like the Vivid Rose, even though I love that palette, I still feel like this is probably a little bit more practical. You know, you could put this into your purse, whatever you want to do. So here are the swatches for you today. And I just think that these are absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to try really hard to make sure this is good swatching for you. I really do like the palette. I like the quality of it. I like the blendability and the saturation. And I love that it is purple themed. That's my jam, you guys. If you ever, anybody likes purple, you're in the right spot because 
usually that's all I get done is talking about purple on my channel. So this one from Violet Voss is really great. I know that they did just come out with a blue one and I think they might have a green one. So okay, here is one of the palettes that I was talking about that was from last year. This is the Blue Moon palette from ColourPop. What I love about them is the, the pans are small enough that you will go through them eventually. I love the packaging on it. It's very sturdy. It is plastic packaging instead of the regular cardboard. There's a really nice mirror in here. So if you put this in your purse and you need a mirror during the day, got the got the mirror thing covered. And then I will go ahead and just show you the palette itself. I am absolutely in love with this periwinkle blue color right here. There is not a lot of periwinkle colors out there where it just sits on the cusp of almost being lavender. And I think that's so special. And then I really love this duochrome light blue right here. So it's an icy blue color. It has that blue shift to it underneath. All of them are gorgeous. And here are the swatches for you guys. All right, they did a beautiful job with this palette and they did a beautiful job with all the other palettes as well. They're just really something special. And I think that if there's a color in there that you have really had your eye on and that you really love, go ahead and give it a try because they are really good. Next is another one of those palettes that was from 2019, but it definitely deserves some praise here. It is the LA Girl Hot Heat Palette, and this one is in Aloha Vibes. I am absolutely enamored with these 16 pan palettes. They are some of the best quality I've ever seen. I mean, high end, as far up luxury as you can get, and these palettes are amazing. I have not been disappointed with any of them. Maybe one or two of the metallic shades in uh, you know other ones, but as far as what these are, they are so saturated. They're so easy to blend and they're so buttery and creamy. The mattes are a tremendous quality. They blend together seamlessly. If you are a woman that thinks that her wearing days of metallics and shimmers are over with, please give these a try. I am not kidding because they are that good. This palette itself has some remarkable colors in it. I absolutely adore this one right here. It's coming across the camera as a little bit blue, maybe a little bit lavender. It has a multi-chrome shift to it, which when you're buying a multi-chrome pan single from somebody, you're paying what, like seven to $10 for a single pan. And this whole entire palette is, I think on the website, $18. Now here are your swatches of it. This color right here, which is a metallic taupe, I think that is one of the most beautiful, interesting, colors I've seen in a long time. And then it has this gorgeous teal up here. It has those basic colors as well. When you're looking down here, you get some very basic colors, but it has the element of having some personality about it. And that's what I love about it. You get a little bit of purple and you can just do endless, endless looks with this. Pop one of these metallics, any of them on your lid, and then do a regular, just neutral look with some of these other colors. And you have a an absolutely gorgeous look. Again, I cannot state enough how good the quality is on these. I've just been absolutely blown away. All right, let's just sit with LA Girl for a minute. I have the one that did come out this year that is the 16 pan palettes, and this is the Break Free palette. If you're not a pink lover or a mauve lover, you probably won't like this. Rose, those colors, you probably won't like this, but I am. And this, they could have just put, instead of Break Free, they could have put Break Free Melissa. Because honestly, this is one of the prettiest palettes I've ever seen. I love working with this. And it has this color right here and this color over here. Those are topper colors. And usually when they do these colors, they do just the metallic or the shimmer. And they kind of broke out and did this topper color thing. I'm not a huge topper color fan. However, if you take this color right here, which is the bone color, or let's see this dark black in color, and then you put one of these over, you're gonna have the most beautiful transforming colors that you have ever seen. And again, the quality is there in those mattes and the shimmers. This is one of the topper ones that I was talking about right up here at the top. But look at the shift in it as I move my hand. It's just so pretty. So all of these are really wearable if you don't mind pinks, wearing pinks. A lot of people don't like them, but I really do love it. And you can definitely make
make it deeper with this um, charcoal color down here. I'm so glad that they put that in there. You have and this burgundy brown color over here that's really pretty that could be put in the outer V, even though that is a more metallic shimmer shade. It still is beautiful in the outer V. So I'm so glad about this palette. I'm really happy that I got it, and I just think it's something special. I love these LA Girl palettes. We're going to stick with LA Girl for just a minute. Now, LA Girl came out with that same formula, only in the nine pan. They are the same quality. It's just, you know, more of a variety and a smaller palette. This is a very warm palette, almost got the oranges in it. And then this one was supposed to be their purple one, but that's more of uh, rose mauve colors. And then this one right here is their really neutral, cool tone, leaning cool tone. But for today, this one is called Downplay. I will link below what all of those are down there. It is in that same nice packaging of the plastic so you have a really nice sturdy pa packaging instead of the regular cardboard and i love this theme as far as what the palette has in it it is so good and i feel like of all of the palettes and yes i'm skipping over that purple one but i feel like of all of the palettes i like the coloring and the quality of this one the best it just has some absolutely gorgeous colors and if you are somebody that has been looking for a neutral palette i wouldn't say that this is really cool toned because they're really Really are only a couple of cool toned in here but there's really some great neutrals and quality in here is just absolutely fantastic i can't say enough good about this formula this makes me darn tootin happy as far as the quality of them and i just i love them they had to be in here i hope they continue to bring out these palettes because they are very very special the next one, I know, friends, it has been done and done and done again. And everybody has ranted and raved on how wonderful it is. There's a reason, my friends. It's because this Natasha Denona palette, the Glam palette, it is that good. I mean, this shows, and the other one that I'm going to show you that is a cheaper alternative of it, but this shows that this type of palette where you have still neutral colors and still leaning towards cool this there's still a market for this everybody went nuts for this palette and the reason is is because we needed to have our throwback to our really good 90s days when we had gray eyeshadow when we had the brown eyeshadow when we had grungy and we still loved it I think this palette is really great. Uh, I like that the pants are a little bit smaller. I just really love this palette. It's a great quality palette as far as the palette itself and its um, outer packaging. It's really good. It's very sleek. The dogs decided to join us for a minute. Natasha Denona also gives you the ability to customize your palette. I didn't know that. So you can look on the back right here, see those holes right there in the palette. You can um, stick a toothpick or something through there and pop out these individual ones and pop in other ones if there are colors in here that you don't like. Now for me personally, this gold right here is probably not one that I'm gonna be using that often. So I actually do like that ability to do that. And here are your swatches. They are just so pretty. We needed this palette to come out so that so many other cosmetics company knew companies knew that these palettes were still in demand yes we still want neutral palettes we don't necessarily need all of these super bright colors which are fun don't get me wrong i love my color eyeshadow but we still needed something like this so this had to be in the lineup so you know how often color pop comes out with releases i mean we're talking every week sometimes twice a week it's just like crazy so when this palette came out i kind of dismissed it even though i'm a huge disney princess girl because i had my little girl and she was the princess of all princesses all the time and i saw somebody do a tutorial with it and i decided to pick it up and i'm so glad i did because this palette it is hits all the bo the boxes for me so it's the disney designer collection color pop it's a princess thing and it has you can see it has that gold packaging i really actually like the packaging they've had each princess sign it so pretty and then you get into it and the colors are pretty too so on this side over here you have the pink colors and then on this side over here you have the warmer colors i think that i'm mostly drawn to this because it is a lighter palette the colors in it are a little bit lighter yes you do have all of these right here along this row that are deeper I need a deep shadow but there are so many times when i reach for a palette and 
everything in it is just super dark and I just can't use that that much. I have to have this color right here, which can go across my, my brow bone and actually across all the lid to set my eyeshadow primer. And then I love that they did all of these really light colors right here that I can use as transition colors. And then I will show you the swatches and they're just so pretty. I really do like the quality of this one. I just really gorgeous. And you do have quite a bit of warm stuff in here, which I don't mind again i know that i talk all the time about cool tones cool tones cool tones say that a lot well basically i love cool tones but you do need the little bit richer warmer colors to brighten up an eye look if you get a cool toned look on and you're going i look like i'm dead put a tiny bit of peach or a little bit of orange just dusted into your transition and i kid you not every single time it will save your makeup look you'll love your look after that it's just something about that little bit of peachy orangey color and it just brightens the eye so little tip there for you elf came out with their new classics palette and i fell for this palette and kind of the same reason as the natasha denona we needed neutrals everybody needed to continue to know about neutrals but at the same time we needed them updated and that's what this did for you you have this mauve neutral color over here you have um all of these warm colors in here but i think that this is just wonderful quality it just ended up being one of my favorites reached for all the time this celadon green over here Whoa, I was so impressed with that. Just a super pretty color. And there they are right there. And that is all of the neutrals. The so blendability and the pigment and how gorgeous it is. And these shimmers aren't here on here are not high metallic so when you're looking at them if you're somebody that doesn't like to wear shimmer these might be for you too because they're more along the lines of being just a straight up shimmer or just a little bit of that satin look to them and i really like it but that celadon green kind of sold me on the whole palette you can't go wrong with elf shadows they have done such a good job through the years now i know i said that i wasn't going in any particular order but this palette had to be the number one spot for me and you guys might even know what's already coming. It is the Sydney Grace Enduring Love Palette. This palette changed everything for me as far as the neutrals. Again, I just became enamored with a, neut a neutral eyeshadow this year. I love my pinks. I'm wearing my pink and purples today. That's from that new Vivid Rose one. But I a lot was wearing these neutral colors. Okay, beautiful packaging i think they may have just changed the packaging this is tin or you know um, a little bit of metal on here raised embossed and it's just gorgeous packaging great mirror in there and then what's inside is the treat i just could not believe that it took me so long to find this and sydney grace is an indie brand it's run by two sisters i believe and if you have any problems at all they email you personally and they do a fabulous job this one just stole my heart and because of its color scheme of course you know you have this bright fuchsia pink you have a muted purple over here you have this gorgeous teal down here but these colors in here you have that great mix of light and dark so making endless looks with this i mean i seriously did not put this palette down for a month unless it was absolutely trying another palette that i wanted to show to you guys i i'm in love with this thing it is so beautiful and the quality is superb this probably is the best formula it's way better than natasha denona i think that la girl rivals it so they kind of make a tie for me but if i had to pick i probably would go with those these ones because they are just that good so let me show you the swatches themselves and the metallics in here they did such a great job with but they did a great job of what they put together for colors just so interesting to me you get that neutral colors you get the the warm colors you get the cool colors you get the pop of colors it just really truly has been something special that i have absolutely fallen in love with and i cannot say enough good about it they have now. a light and a dark one of these by the way i don't think i said that i would love to have the dark one but i know that they just put in some deeper transition shades so i probably could just you know buy some singles and have the same thing but huh really honestly you guys if there was a palette that i was to say is it worth the money is it worth you know splurging on yes this one absolutely is 
I just found so many ways to use this. Like I would go in with the color right here, which I used as a transition a ton of times, or this one, and then I'd pop any of these metallics on my lid, even this deepened teal right here, or that um, magenta purple right there. I would pop those on my lid, and then I would just go in with one of the darker colors that's here into the outer V, and just, oh my word, it just is one that just absolutely claimed my heart, and I knew for 100% that this was going to be in this lineup this year and it might be in the lineup for every year to follow because I love it that much it's just so good that's it that was the last one I sure I hope that you guys enjoyed this I love palettes and I loved bringing you what I found in the year that I just fell in love with they are just next level beauties and I wanted to pick out the best quality for you and affordable clear on up to luxury did you yourself have a favorite this year I would love to know that in the comment section below Thanks so much for spending a part of your day with me. I hope everybody is doing really well. Please stay safe out there. I know we are all facing so much and I hope that your family is good and that you're good and I love you very much and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.